95, the teenager charged with sexually assaulting an 87-year-old woman last year is found competent to stand trial. <laughs> Jeez, Christ, they got a Big story tonight at five. The teenager charged with sexually assaulting an 87-year-old woman last year is found competent to stand trial. Prosecutors say Khalil Perry was just 14 years old when it happened. Our Brett Lemoyne live at the Waukesha County Courthouse with what today's decision means for this case going forward, Brett. Yeah, prosecutors charged Perry with sexual assault, kidnapping, and more from an incident that occurred here in Waukesha last November. Now, defense attorneys have been trying to keep this case out of adult court. Today, a psychologist weighed in with her assessment. Do you believe you're competent or not competent sitting here today? Yeah. Which one? I think I'm confident. I mean, not confident. In court Thursday morning, Khalil Perry and his public defender tried to convince Judge Jennifer Doro Perry shouldn't be there. I think when we look at the entire context of this child's life, we are looking at someone who within the adult system is not competent to function. During the hearing, a psychologist testified she evaluated Perry last fall. Did any of his responses, any of his interactions with you suggest that um, he was struggling with competency during that point of the evaluation? No. Dr. Deborah Collins diagnosed Perry with adjustment disorder with mixed disturbance of emotion and conduct, but ultimately found him competent to stand trial. He had been placed in foster care. Yes. But he was a victim of abuse while in care. Public defender Maura McMahon said Perry suffers from anxiety, depression, and has blackouts. This court will make a legal finding today that Mr. Perry is That's the competent Smash to Brooks. proceed. Last judge. year, when Perry was 14, prosecutors that's said the, he held that's a... That's the um, judge. Yeah, Brooks Jeff. judge. Wow. And she's uh, looking to be uh, Wisconsin State uh, Supreme Court. Look at what some men are doing in this town of Waukesha. What's the stack? What's the demographics of Waukesha? These, these some men are fucking tearing this town. Waukesha is pretty dang white. Uh, I'm not sure of the actual... Yeah, I think it's... I think but it's, it's right, right next to Milwaukee. It's right yeah, next well, to it's a suburb. I thought, I thought it was like 16 or something. We did it. We you did can it before. literally walk to Milwaukee within Ooh, a couple 15, hours. Sir? Yeah, that's, 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 I'm, yeah. To proceed. Last year, when Perry was 14, prosecutors said he held a knife to an 87 year old woman's throat. Police say it happened in Waukesha's public library parking lot. Prosecutors say Perry threatened the yeah, woman. Yeah, the public library and parking lot. Public. I see. Like, I see 3%. 3% son? 2.5% son. Yeah. Okay. And look at what yeah. they're doing up there. They're, cool. they're running the cars in the parades. Um, and that guy, Derek Brooks, people don't know, he killed a lot of grannies. He ran into the But he lives grannies. in Milwaukee. He was Boy, just there, there because... And violent. He was just there because his baby mama was there at a shelter. Yeah, but he, he still did that in Waukesha. Like, he's still, like they're still fucking up Waukesha. <laughs> No matter if he lived in LA, like he he went there and ran over the dancing grannies during a fucking Christmas break. Oh, so there goes like back in the up. pretty girls at the library. Yeah, and this guy, this right. guy put a knife to an 80, <laughs> 87 year old woman's neck in the parking lot at the library. Yeah, he's a grandmother fucker. If you're if you're a, if you're a, if you're a, um a glider in this town. The gymnastics it would take to not be like, well, god damn, what the fuck is wrong with these Negroes? Man? You know what I mean? Like the fact 14. that they never they never have that outburst, it just shows how um composed and different gliders are. You know, impulse control, because some oh, they, they they have those outbursts in front of select company. I don't think so. They do. Yeah, I, I believe. Yeah, them. Um, not yeah, a lot they of them do. do, but I believe they do. Them. Yeah, they do. They do. They, they do. do. They do. I, I, I promise you. I, I'm, I'm telling you, man. I, I think that whatever you call it, outburst. I'm talking about like, well, God. My select me. company is this panel. That's I, what I was gonna say. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't know. I just, I just don't think this safe. Because if you say that around the wrong glider. And he gets to, he or she gets to tell him the friend circle 
I don't think it's safe to say that around. You know, but you know that glider. Yeah, glider. It's just like you know who you can say certain shit around and who you can't. Right. Yeah. Everyone knows that. You know. But they never do it in public. The whole glider race as a whole, all 200 million of (laughs) y'all, never had that outburst in public. It's just amazing. Like this, this kid, like he did what? Last year, when Perry was 14, prosecutors said he held a knife to an 87-year-old woman's throat. Police say it happened in Waukesha's public library parking lot. Prosecutors say Perry threatened the woman, telling her, quote, you realize that I'm the devil and I know where you live. If you call police, I'll kill all of your family. Police say he pushed her back into her car, drove away, and later sexually assaulted her. In April, Perry was waived into adult court. He'll be back in front of a judge in two weeks for a preliminary hearing. Well, Perry's public defender also tried to get a new judge in this case. She filed this letter with the court yesterday. She didn't give a specific reason as to why she wants a new judge Carol in this Brooks. case, but she did say That's she why. reserves all rights to challenge the jurisdiction of the court. Judge Jennifer Doro today denied that request, saying there had already been a number of motions that have been... Right. I'm, I'm and, glad and that shit fell flat on its if face. She, if, if she yeah. filed a motion for the jurisdiction of the court... This sounds like, straight that out sounds of like the sovereign, sovereign citizen playbook sh- the bullshit. that Daryl yeah. Brooks was pushing. Yep. Yep. Exactly. <laughs>